Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is well. Thank you very much for coming over and watching this short video. Um, this is most probably one of the most important videos that I've actually put on the channel. The reason being is for a charity event that we want to be running up. Um, we, myself and a few makers have got together and all decided that we're going to do a charity event for the Salvation Army. The way this is going to work is by we've been donated uh, 10 pieces uh, of what makers have made and with myself it's 11 pieces. And we're going to do this on an auction situation. Uh, the auction is going to be running on the 17th of December. Uh, there will be a link for that in the description. Uh, also in the description will be a link for the GoFundMe for the charity that we're doing it for. Uh, so the funds go straight to the charity. We don't have nothing to do with it. Um, so we've been donated some absolutely amazing pieces. And I can't thank the, the, the people who have donated enough uh the i sent a few cheeky messages and everybody was absolutely amazing nobody even hesitated they just replied with straight away yes so the, the i'm going to read through the makers who are donating and then we'll talk a bit more how the auction is going to work so the people who are donating are jamie page from jp woodwork uh keith greenfield greenfield from circular by keith barry oak by barry's wood creations uh brian Osby by Houtwood Turning, Wayne Clasper from Wayne the Woodturner, Mark Beckett, the Gentleman Woodturner, Terry Bray, TJ Turning, Lewis Golden, the Condite Craftsman, obviously myself, um, Stuart Farini, and Ed Oliver. They're the makers who have donated some pieces. Um, some really, really nice pieces. And I'm not talking chat, you know, I'm not talking amateur pieces. Some of them, well, they all are really nice pieces. Um, and hopefully we're going to be able to sell some of these or all of them uh, some good money and we're going to be able to make some money for the, the charity. Uh, the way the auction is going to work is on the night we're going to allocate a 10 minute slot for each lot of lot of these 1 to 11. Um, so we're going to allocate 10 minutes for each lot and what that will work is we'll start the lot off and then you have 10 minutes to get your bids in. The bid that comes in before the, the the 10 minute ends will be our winning bid so if you put a bid in and it comes in after the 10 minutes has run out unfortunately your bid's lost it's only going to be the last bid within the 10 minutes i know this sounds a bit unfair but we have to do it and moderate it if not we just keep going and going and going and with 11 lots to get through we need to allocate a specific time for a specific lot so i'm trying to keep it as fair as possible but what we're going to do is we're going to give you a one minute warning so when it hits to nine minutes we're going to give you a one minute warning so that should be more than enough time with the the lag between youtube and yourself and your chat you should be able to get in your final bid uh, but like i say it's the last bid that comes in before the 10 minute timer runs out so that's the way the auction is going to work so when, once you if you're the winning bid what you will need to do then is you'll go over to the GoFundMe, you will pay your winning bid, whatever it was, 20 quid say, you'll pay your winning bid, and then what you need to do in the in the comments is put the lot number that you're paying for. So if you win lot number six, you put your winning bid in, you pay your winning bid, and then you put in the comments whatever you want plus lot six. So we know that lot six has been paid for. So what happened then, as soon as lot six has been paid for, at the end of the say, this is the Friday night, the Saturday or Sunday, I will then contact the maker who has donated the piece and give him your details. And then it will be between you and the maker to sort out getting it to you. Uh, that's how the auction is going to work. So then we've got three other prizes. Uh, we've got uh, Glenn Senior has donated a tin of original and microfine Yorkshire grit as well as a baseball cap. Um, Terry Smart from Chestnut Products has also donated. He has donated a £50 voucher to be used on his online shop. Um, unfortunately, to UK users only because of the new laws due to shipping chemicals and other things across the continent. Uh, and then Jennifer from Jennifer's Craft and Creations has offered to make a cup or a mug or printer mug, shall I say, 
with uh, the individual's logo, maker's mark or maker's logo on it. So the way the auction is going to work is uh, £2 a ticket. So you will make your donations through GoFundMe again or you'll, you'll pay for your tickets through GoFundMe again. So the way we're going to define between the three different uh, prizes is if you want a ticket for the Yorkshire Grit, you will pay your £2 to the GoFundMe and then in the comments you will put YG. Whatever comment you want plus what or you could put raffle ticket for YG. Then we'll know that's a Yorkshire Grit. Same with uh, Terry's, it will be CN. And then with Jennifer's, it will be Mug. So if you want to say you want a ticket for each, you'll pay a £6 donation to the GoFundMe and then you will put raffle or or raffle tickets or whatever you want to put in there as long as i know it's for all tickets then we will enter you into each and every raffle if you want three or four tickets for just one if you want to say three tickets for the chestnut products uh you do three times cn then i know exactly what you're doing so obviously you'll pay six pounds to the gofundme then three times cn then i know exactly what that's for so we'll, Nick has done a list or a, a spreadsheet. So we'll add every single person who enters the raffle into the spreadsheet. And then the raffles will be drawn on the night. Uh, we're going to use an online random number generator. And if you, if you buy three tickets or two tickets for one, we will not give you, say, five and six. We will give you like five and 19. Whatever. We'll spread the numbers so the numbers are not close together, give you a bit of a more of a chance, make it more fair. Um, so the number, so if you buy three tickets, you're not going to get one, two, three, you'll get like one, seven and nine or one, seven and 15 or whatever. It doesn't matter, but you will be spread up. All your numbers will not be together. If you want a record of your numbers, message me and I will send you your raffle ticket number. Um, but if not, what we'll do is we will show you the spreadsheet on the Friday night. So we can double check everybody's been entered. We can then double check that everybody's there and also show that it's been fair and everybody's been added. So we want to try and keep it as transparent as possible and make it as fair as possible. So again, with the prizes for the raffle, uh, as soon as the raffle winners have been called, we'll send the pass the details over to the corresponding person. They will be in touch and then you can sort out shipping to get your prize or whatever. Excuse me. So that's going to be the, the way things are going to work. We're trying to keep it as fair as possible with everybody. Um, obviously, we don't want to be running an auction for five or six hours. We think with 11 items, 10 minutes of time, it's going to be quite fair. Then obviously, we've got a bit of talking in between and obviously the raffling. Um, on the night, there'll be myself, Brian and my wife, Nick. Uh, we're all going to be here trying to hopefully coach you all on to spend a bit extra money to get the charity event up uh, to make the charity worthwhile doing. Well, even if we make a tenner, it's worthwhile doing, but it's, you know, it's, it, the more we can get, the better it is for the people. So I will stop chatting now because I've been going for nearly eight minutes. I um, hope you enjoy. If there's any questions, then obviously I'll be discussed in any lives. Uh, we're going to try and get makers on their lives to promote it as well. We're going to try and get them to put their GoFundMe in their description and hopefully we can raise a few quid. So what follows will be the pictures of um, the makers pieces as they are locked to whatever or what lot to 11 at the moment mine's still in the process of being made so mine's not there but i will add it later on or i'll show it on my uh, uh, uh my live next week so please come over and support us it's for a great cause salvation army they do such great work so please come over and support us uh even if you can only make a couple of quid donation or a pound donation, uh, it's every little penny helps. Uh, Salvation Army does such an amazing work. This time of year, there's people giving up their free time because it's all voluntary, giving up their free time to help people who are a lot less fortunate. So, you know, let's do our part. And uh, we are grateful for what we've got, but we can always help each other. So anyway, guys, pictures of what's coming. I'll see you on the 17th. Hope to see you there. Let's have a fun night. Let's raise some decent cash for a good charity. Speak to you soon. Bye for now. Bye. our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. 
can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. 'Cause I missed you so, I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you, baby. This year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everything else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh oh, la 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 oh oh, oh la 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 oh oh, la 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 la. Making our Christmas memories. I've been wrapping presents for you. I've been hanging marbles on the tree, and I've lit my house with Christmas lights. So you should come back home to me. Up in the morning, I'm gonna play those carols that you love. We'll be singing all the melodies until the sun comes up. These are the good times with you, baby. 